Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, in this video we'll be talking about uh, the somewhat brand new anime called the Saintia Show, which is pretty much Saintia in the female version. Just saw the first episode, I'll give you my impressions on it. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and like and subscribe. Let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about this episode is the art. The art style is simply amazing. It's very, very good. Um, the uh, toy animation actually has given a homage to um, Mr. Araki, Master Araki and Michi Himeno, which was his uh, wife and partner. Um, and I mean, they the art is simply simply awesome. Uh, the animations there, the the armors are there. It's awesome. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is at the very beginning we got the the Scorpius Gold Saint Milo making an appearance, and boy was that awesome. He saves uh, Shoko. Spoiler alert. And the way they drew the armor was just awesome man it was it had this like awesome glow you know the hair all like long and wavy with the with the wind that was just awesome man um another thing i liked about the series as the episode um you know continued was um well shoko has like an adoptive dad like you see her training in the dojo basically suggesting that you know that's where she gets her strength from which is pretty cool at least they built some base or bases but then as uh, she leaves for school and then uh, she says that hey that there's something in the mailbox that goes um, you're annoying go away then when he looks into the mailbox there's a little present for him from her happy birthday dad I like that part very nice um, one thing that I forgot to mention is that the the series uh, revolves around the two sisters um, Shoko and um, I forget the older sister's name you pretty much we can call her like a, a female version of Dragon Shiryu that's basically what it is and that they swore to become stronger to protect one another or something like that sorry I just saw it uh, thing is big sis comes back after five years and guess what she's wearing an armor in armor that if you look at the tiara part um it definitely looks like the pegasus clot like the same exact thing and then when she she uses a power right because uh, a baddie comes around to attack him it's the meteor what was it now uh meteor power of equilius i can't say that word I can't say the word. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put it down here. Here. So you can go ahead and read it. Equilius. I'll make this the keyword for this video. Anyway, the Clara Equilius. I made a little research after the episode was done. And Equilius is basically Minor Horse, the constellation of Minor Horse. So you got Pegasus. And you got Aquilius, which is the constellation of Minor Horse. Great. I guess it's okay, but eh, I was expecting like Pegasus, right? Now, before we continue, there's something super important, and I can't believe I missed this. Um, where and when is more importantly, when does this take place in the Saint Seiya universe? So it's supposed to be in the same timeline. And it's placed right immediately after they defeat Saga in the sanctuary. Immediately. Like in between, you know, when Sid Mysar, wink wink, attacks the foundation. And the defeat of Saga in the anime, of course. Um, that's where this universe takes place. So, you know, the Bronze, Saiyan, the Bronze Saints are all like in the hospital. <laughs> they're, in, uh, they're on life support. So this is where this 10 episode show kicks in. So anyway, going on with the first episode, um, I like uh, there was a part where they referenced, uh, I guess the bad guy here, 
on this uh, uh, series is Ares or Ares uh, uh, with of the golden apple that's the only way I can describe her she's making a comeback of course because it's a women's show I have no problem with that but then they said it wasn't Ares uh, like sealed in a past quote-unquote past battle I like the way they you know reference the Saint Seiya movie uh, resurrection of goddess Elis right I like that but anyway moving on the worst part I, I, I really have to mention this the worst part of all the entire uh, episode you know how in the original series in the first chapter of Saint Seiya you get Seiya you know he's getting beat up and Mar Marin his teacher says Seiya if you're in trouble don't hesitate to open the box um, he opens the box and what happens afterwards is pure magic to animation you know that it, it was awesome you 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 can't make another you know sequence like that ever because it, to animation was just you know pure magic back in the 80s what i mean is this say yeah opens the pegasus armor box and it just flies into the sky then you see the armor follow him by an act of magic and then the the clot starts to like like uh, like separate in pieces and then it comes towards him and you see this pegasus fly towards him like in in a front view and then he starts like equipping the armor piece by piece and you see the animation and everything and then he does like a little attack to towards the screen everything is awesome awesome and then you see a little like the next thing he says i become the strongest man on earth with this i mean the main character didn't even, I'm getting ahead of myself, but the main character didn't even equip the armor, which is fine, I guess. But when the two Bronze Saints that actually fight, that appear on this episode, they just run towards the bad guys and you guys ever, re uh, you guys remember the, uh, what was it called, Centurions? The way they uh, equipped the armor, pretty much like that. A little faster, I would say. They didn't even have to wink in this show to equip the armor. So it was just something so quick that they kind of they, they, they kind of forgot about the awesomeness about equipping an armor. Sensei is all about equipping armors. Armors, armors, armors. So anyway, that's the worst part of all, at least. Don't worry, there's nothing worse than that. Um... So no, something cool. Now let's move on to a more positive uh, note. Something cool that I did like is that the sister. And again, I'm this is spoiler zone. Uh, the first episode ended with well, pretty much after the battle ended. The sister, I forget her name, the Shiryu female Shiryu. Uh, they were going to kidnap, or maybe the golden apple was gonna. Uh, how can you say? inherit or take possession of shoko's body but then instead of shoko being the victim the sister actually took her place by getting in front of the attack i like that part she sacrificed herself for her little sister because that was the the promise she had made long ago when they were little kids or little girls that's fine and and to conclude the video um i really 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 like the outro um, intro was fine, don't get me wrong, um, uh, art was fine, but the first drawing of the outro is Shoko wearing the Equilius armor. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the, because the, uh, her sister left it in the first episode, so I'm guessing she inherited the armor. And what can I say, it looks like Seiya, very vivid image, like very cheerful expression. I guess i'll put a picture up here or a, a screenshot whatever and the hair is perfect it looks like seiya but in a female version the you know the, the tiara the pegasus like motif i want to say everything is awesome and then you they show ioria the golden lion i had to pause it there trust me i paused it because this is coming from someone i want you i want you to understand something this is coming from someone that has drawn Saint Seiya since I was 12. That's when I first saw the series. I think I have a video talking about that. 
from before. And man, I'm like, they haven't lost a touch. This has to be the influence of Himeno because I believe that Mr. Master Araki's wife is still alive. And somehow she's maybe directed the series because it's not an um it's a fairly new series. It came out in 2016. And well it's not 2020, but you get my point. The uh, art is awesome. Then we have Milo, the Scorpion. Then we have Saga with the two-faced. You know, it, it, it was it was awesome. That ending was awesome. Um, it, that's basically it, guys. If you uh, reached this point, I really want to thank you so much. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, like the video if you like it. I'm going to continue watching the series. Uh, it's just an episode, so might as well, right? And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Take care.